What's up, YouTube? Robbie bringing you episode 57 of my Detroit Tigers franchise mode here in MLB The Show 16. Today in this video, we will be facing off against another division foe in the Chicago White Sox. But also, the reason I'm playing this game is because it will be the debut, or the Tigers debut, I should say, of newly acquired first baseman Anthony Rizzo. Last video, you guys saw the blockbuster trade. We got him from the Cubs. We gave up... Anibal Sanchez and Nick Castellanos, as we see, Kinsler lead off the game and ground out to the mound. Jeff Marge on the mound for the White Sox. Alright. Um, Iglesias grounds out for the second out, but yeah, it's um, Rizzo's debut. He is batting cleanup right behind Miggy. Let's see if Miggy can get on base so Rizzo could get his first at bat as a Tiger. See Miggy doing very well as we moved him back to third base. He's playing third in this one. Other things I could probably do is keep Miggy as DH, put Steven Piscotti at third because that's a secondary position. As Miguel Cabrera swings and misses, one and two. Piscotti could probably play third, Miggy DH, and either JD Martinez or Aaron Judge in right. There's that. Gives me a little bit more flexibility defensively so we could just play around with everything as Miggy goes down swinging to end the first inning here we have rookie Robert Stevenson on the mound for us in this one as he induces a ground ball to Rizzo throw on to Iglesias back on the first not in time but we get the lead runner I believe that was Milky Cabrera that was on first already former Yankee He's out, Adam Eaton on first now. It was a very, very dangerous hitter. He is up now, runner on first throw. You do not throw on A.J. Pruszynski's arm, even though he's, I think, 68 or 69 overall. He's still great defensively. And he tends to catch when Stevenson pitches, which works. Having a veteran backstop catch a rookie. Good logic there as a ground ball to Iglesias throw on to Rizzo ends the inning there. And there we go. Anthony Rizzo batting 278, slugging 559 on the season so far. Let's see what he can do in his first at bat as a Detroit Tiger. Swings in that fastball up. If it was a little bit lower, could have done something with it. But Smarger went a little bit too much to be able to do anything with. Swing and miss on the fastball, 96 miles an hour, 0-2. Right yep, and we strike out. Not a really good first at bat for Rizzo. Next up is Cespedes, who's doing really well. He's 6 for 24 in his last his 10 games or something like that. He's doing really well as he takes the first pitch into right field for a one-out single. Cespedes slowly heating it back up again as just like season one. Started off the season really cold, but he is kicking into gear a little bit as Rasmus is in center field today for Davis. Grounds out. Runner moves over to third after the previous out. Forgot who that was that made it, but that moved Cespedes to second, so Piscotti up now with a chance to drive in a run. As a ground ball past the glove of Abreu, the runner from third will score. Piscotti almost gets thrown out at first, it's kind of disappointing, but he just beats it out. 1 0 Tigers, Marjorie not too happy. And Judge up next. His lefty right splits, he's doing better against right handers. We'll see what he can do. He fouls that off down the first baseline. And I get notifications on my phone. And spam is really annoying. Alright, um, 0 1 count. And that is grounded to the right side. Will he beat it out? Nope. Smart is just beats Judge to the bag. And that will retire the side. But we do push across our first run of the game. It's 1 0 Tigers. So we move on to the bottom half of the second. Stevenson, 1-2 pitch. Do you think that was Connor Gillespie is a strikeout? 
Yet another strikeout for Stevenson as he's pretty much going to be a strikeout type pitcher during his career with the kind of stuff he has. Former Tiger Devin Murrow up next. We lost him in the offseason. I don't even remember how. Pretty sure we did resign him, but that's fine. Rizzo in shallow right field. Foul territory catches that to retire the side. Cabrera up now for his second at bat here in the top of the fourth inning. Pitch from Samarja is grounded past the mound. He will just glove flip it over to Ray at first. That will retire Miggy. And that will bring up Rizzo for his second at bat of the day. See what he can do this time. That is fouled off down the third baseline into the stands. 0 and 1. Next pitch is driven to left field. Can they skip down? No, not. The fielder is under it, so Rizzo is over two. Miggy's over two middle of the line. I'm not doing too too well so far. As Cespedes is up next. Swain West on the splitter. One thing I noticed from Samarja in this game, he's not really throwing much in the zone. I'm still falling for it. But Swain West on that fastball inside. 0 oh 2. See, and at least Swain West on the on the splitter for a strikeout. One, two, three, now inning for Samarja, aside from that run. Pick things up here, bottom of the fourth. Jose Abreu up now, Stevenson induces a shallow pop to right field. Kinsler is there, no problem. That will be another one, two, three, inning for Stevenson. Doing really well in this one. Good rebound start for the rookie. I think he got rocked a little bit in his last start, if I remember correctly. That was a simulation, but so far, aside from that one run the Tigers have, it's a pitcher's duel between Samarja and Stevenson, as Stevenson strikes out Abasayil Garcia for another strikeout on the day. See the line score there, two runs on six hits for the Tigers, no runs on one hit for the White Sox, as Gillespie's up again, he grounds it to Rizzo at first, no problem. And that will be it for the fifth, pretty much, as fly ball to left center field. Rasmus ranges over, catches that, no problem. For the first out of the bottom of the sixth. Tim Anderson up now. Does the same thing, but to right. Piscotti is under it, there we go. Two quick outs. Right, Marrero, up now he's playing second base for the White Sox in this one. Running fastball a little bit low, ball one. Right, strike two. Er, ball, no, ball. still one count, what am I talking about? Two on two, Marrero is hit to left field, Cespedes backs up a bit. Catches it. Three straight fly ball outs for Stevenson. It's another one, two, three inning. Scotty up now. He's one for two. Drove in our first run as we have a second run now. With Glacius up. Two outs, one, two count. Top of the seventh. Runners on first and second. New pitcher in. Samarja out. For some reason, I go for a double steal. We get thrown out. Probably not the smartest idea. Good throw to third by Flowers. We're going to pick things up here. Bottom of the seventh. Stevenson's still out there on the mound. Pitching a gem. As he gives up, I think it's only his second or third hit of the day. That's a fly. Or, wow. That's a line drive base hit to left field right in front of Cespedes. Gets in quickly. Eaten up now. Ground ball down the first baseline. Almost hits the first base coach. That will be another pop-up foul territory. Rizzo is under it. That will be an out. Who's there? One on and one out. Drop in a 12-6 curve for a ball. 
Pass ball up in strike two. Got another fastball low and away misses just a bit. Got swing miss on the changeup. Prayer goes down swing again. The check swing yet he definitely went very much around. No contest there. That's another strikeout for Stevenson as next pitch is grounded to Miggy. Third throw on to Rizzo over at first. That will end the seventh. That's pretty much going to be it on the day four. Stevenson as we have a two-run lead. We are going to bring in another new acquisition. First time in a video. He's had a couple appearances, but it's Kevin Segrist. Got him in that trade with Cardinals. We sent over Al Albuquerque, who was severely struggling. He had like a over 15 ERA, I think. But this will be the first appear at first video or series appearance of Seagrass. He's had a couple outings. First couple were good. The last one is a little shaky, but see how he does in this one as he strikes out. Next batter for the second out. Okay. First pitch fastball, 95 miles an hour for a strike. Change up blown away, just misses outside, 1-1. One one. Go with the pitch in. Curveball with really good break. 1-2. and two. Go with another fastball. Fouled off, still 1-2. and two. So far so good for Seagrist. That will be a fly ball left field. Almost messed that up there with Cespedes, but shoestring catch will end the eighth. And nothing really happens in the top of the ninth, so we're going to skip ahead to the bottom of the ninth. Our closer, Calvin Herrera, up now. Striking out Tim Anderson for the first out of the ninth. You can see here Herrera leading the American League in saves, and I think he's leading baseball in general and saves he's doing really well great chance of definitely being closer for the American League in the All-Star game when that comes up in a few weeks I believe so that'll be a couple videos from now I think so we gotta plan out the next few two and count to Marrero fouled off down the first baseline fielded cleanly by the ball boy so that's a Plus for him as we strike him out with the changeup inside for the second out. Tigers now one out away from a victory over the White Sox. No, strike one, two for Yankee Melky Cabrera. Ground ball, too short. Glacius over to Rizzo. There we go. And the Tigers win this one by a score of two to zero. Rizzo doesn't do all that much in his debut. Seagrass does good in his series debut, but that's pretty much it. It's a team win. That's pretty much all that matters at this point. I guess great start by Stevenson. Six strikeouts to it, seven innings, so it's good. He is player of the game, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. And this is what you want out of your starter. He gives him seven strong innings, sets things up for...